I'm sure you've noticed that many content creators are using remote interviews in their videos these days. One app that can help you achieve this while maintaining high quality is called Riverside. Riverside makes it easy to conduct video interviews, podcasts, and even edit videos over the internet. This is something that usually used to be stressful to do in the past. Now it's super easy. In the first half of this video, I'll walk you through the basics to get Riverside up and working for you. I'll take you through the simplest way that you can do it. And then in the second half, I'll show you some more advanced or pro way of using Riverside. So with the advanced way, you're able to step up your quality with some gear recommendations, recording and editing tips. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you would need obviously is a reliable remote recording software like Riverside who are the sponsor of today's video. Next, you're going to need a decent microphone. You could just talk through your computer if your computer has an internal microphone or use something like headphones, whether wired or wireless. I have a pair of AirPods but the quality might not be so great. We'll talk about how to improve that in the advanced tips section. So note that. It's also important you can hear the person or persons on the other side of Riverside without any feedback or echo, which could make the quality a lot worse. So get headphones or maybe AirPods. The next is the camera. If you do not own a webcam, you could use your iPhone, which connects easily and automatically to your computer assuming you own and use an Apple computer. One last thing. I would highly suggest that you have a light shining on you so you're properly lit up. Just make sure that most of the light is not coming from behind you. So with that being said, make sure that the light filling you is brighter than any light coming from behind you. It's usually better that the light hitting you is softer like what you see in high budget Hollywood movies. Now that we have everything set up, all you need to do is head over to the link which I'll leave in the description section below so that the guys from Riverside know that you came from me. Thank you. Also know that no credit card of yours is required. So go ahead, create a studio, name yourself as a host if you like or whatever name you wish to use. Select that you're using headphones like I'm using here. I have my AirPods on as I earlier advice and click join studio. Now, just to the right, you can select the camera of your choice that's connected to your computer and the microphone you wish to use. Now you should have everything set up and if you like how you're looking, you can go into the settings to fine tune things. And when you are sure that things are set up in the right way, you can then invite your guests in two ways. One way is by copying and then sending them the invite link. The other way is to type their email in the email section and they will get the link directly. So that's it for the very basic setup with Riverside. Now for the more advanced setup with audio, I would advise you get yourself an XLR or USB-C microphone with a mic arm. What I have here in front of me is a Firefine. This is a Firefine Tank 3 which has both XLR and USB-C connection port as well as real-time audio monitoring if I like. That enables me to connect to my Mac Studio via a sound card using the XLR or directly to my computer via USB-C port. It also has real-time audio monitoring that's available when I'm using the USB-C port. Make sure you have the mic as close enough to your mouth as much as possible to be able to pick up more of your voice over any possible background noise. Know that if this mic is too close to your mouth and its sensitivity is too high, there's a great chance of clipping. One other good thing about this mic is that you can easily mute yourself quickly by pressing the mute button found on the body of the mic. I'm also using a low profile mic arm, which I kind of prefer as it's out of the frame. I reviewed both the mic and the mic arm from five fine so you can check the link in the description section below or the link up here now that we've taken care of audio next is the pro camera setup for the pro or advanced camera setup you can use a mirrorless or dslr camera any camera with super autofocus i can live stream would be preferable the canons and the sony seem to have the lead in that department for my advanced setup i have the sony a74 which i'm currently filming this on on a Robe adjustable arm. It's easy to just connect it via USB-C to my Mac Studio. The lens of my choice is a Sigma 1835mm f1.8, which will give you that nice depth of field at f1.8. This setup is in landscape mode with the help of a camera cage and quick release system. Now for lighting, you want to make sure you have great, nice, soft lighting. Lighting that is not too harsh on you. For my setup, I'm using one from Suncrafter, with a large parabolic softbox. I'll leave a link in the description to that light in case you want to check it out and put it at an angle that is not showing a lot of reflection, like if you're using glasses, like the way I have here. If I if you notice, if I lift my head up a bit, you can see the light reflection where I bring it down. So, well, my ceiling is kind of low, so you make sure that the light is as high as much as possible at an angle that is lighting you properly as not well reflecting your glasses. Now that my setup is complete, I cannot open my browser and go to riverside.fm. But before I forget, make sure you have headphones or earphones connected. 
not just loudspeakers as to prevent echo. So you know in Riverside.fm, the steps are the same as last time, although there are some things I want to talk about in the settings. Number one, the record settings menu, I'll advise you to turn on noise reduction. So I'll click settings up here and I'll go to recording. Make sure not to turn on noise reduction. It kind of reduces the audio quality, which I don't really like. Also, my audio sample rate is set to 48 kilohertz. I kind of prefer 48 kilohertz because the quality you get from 48 kilohertz is better than 44.1 kilohertz. So I kind of prefer it that way. So for video resolution, Riverside recommends 720p. Usually I like to have my advanced 1080p. You can push it up to 4K HD if you want. And frame rates, you have different options, 24 frame rates, 25 frame rates. I have mine set at 24 frame rates. And depending on your pricing, you can go past 24 frames per second. And there's automatic backups. For language, I have mine at English. Um, you can also set a countdown timer before you start recording. Usually a five um, second countdown timer is okay. I can set Riverside to automatically start recording once you join the studio. For me, I have that turned off. Or it says the recording will start automatically as soon as the first guest arrives or joins the studio. No need to hit record. Test recording disabled when this is turned on. So that's to note. And there are other things like live streaming to your favorite platform. So if I go to live stream here, you can see the different platforms, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitch, um, TikTok, and a custom RTP MP. And you can see your streaming resolution to 720p or 1080p. Hide your watermark or deactivate or enable live stream chat. So welcome, Mr. Kasha. How are you doing today? I'm very okay. Thank you very much. The first question I have for you today is what do you think? How easy was it for you to just join me here using this Riverside platform? I clicked on it and I filled my name. It allowed it gave me the opportunity to like select my um my devices. If I want to go use the desktop or the microphone, which I'm not using. And once you finish, you can just generate a transcript and record it, make some edits, or even download your clips. So that's how easy it is to record an interview. I think anyone can do this without having any special knowledge. Now, one thing I'd want to point out that I noticed when on my call with Mr. Kasha was that if you're on a call or a discussion recording whatever you may want to call it with a guest and you notice like a drop in the quality of the stream, don't worry. This is something you shouldn't worry about because at the back end, Riverside is saving your guest video recording in high quality. So you notice the low quality just to keep that connection stable. This Riverside app doesn't just allow you to record, but allows you to edit meetings, podcasts, or any other video content. I mean, it's like your own online video editing app that you can connect to anywhere in the world. In the cave, in the shower, maybe you're on a submarine voyage. As long as you have good internet connection, you're good to go. So that's it for today. I'll be putting out an in-depth video on more stuff you can do on Riverside as there's a lot more that can be done on Riverside. Now, don't forget to click the link below and use my code so the guys at Riverside know that I sent you over. Don't forget to also click the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the in-depth video on what more you can do with Riverside. I'll see you again. It's your filmmaker. Peace.